Hey guys, it's Julia with On Fire Fit, and um, I don't know if you you might have seen me before. I think I've been in like two other videos, um, but if you don't know who I am, I'm um, Jenny's daughter, and I was just kind of inspired by a passage that I thought that it would be a great idea to make a video about it and see if it affects other people too. So um, the other night, I was kind of looking at the back of kind of like the index, kind of like the different parts, and I was looking through. I was really feeling down and like really was in my head and so I was like okay I'm gonna read some Bible passages to see like what like um what God says about this and how um I can turn this into something else and so I found um I went to the part I was looking through you know like anxiety and stress and then I got to a part about depression and well I don't have depression it's just like I was like, I'll look through some of these. And I came to Psalm 42, what is it? I came to Psalm 42, um, verse 6. And um, I'll read it for you. It says, quote, um, my soul is downcast within me. Therefore, I will remember you, end quote. And, um, sorry, I'm used to speech in a big way. I did quote each one. But, um, so reading that again, the beginning part of it, it says, my soul is downcast within me. And I feel like this really, like, this spoke to me a lot because I feel like for me, like, there's always outside pressures in this world, but I feel like for me, personally, the biggest pressure I have is myself. And when it says there, my soul, and it specifies that, um, my mom has talked to me in the past. I don't know if she's talked about in videos before but the difference between your soul and your spirit so um your spirit is given is what you know kind of what God gives you it's um everything that's more like heavenly and that's um more that has to do with more of those attributes whereas your soul is more of your like earthly um sinful nature and that really hit me that they said not just that like I am downcast within me or my heart is downcast within me or my mind it says my soul and having this distinguishment between like yourself that's kind of without like that's filled with corruption in the world and sin and then saying specifically that made me realize that it was like you don't have to be downcast within yourself. You don't have to be hard on yourself. You don't have to be telling yourself all these lies. And instead, as it goes to the next part, it goes, therefore, I will remember you. And I feel like for me, sometimes I'll, like, people will say, like, if you're having a hard time, if you're, you know, if you're feeling really down, like, read the Bible, you know, um, start saying scriptures to yourself and stuff like that. And I believe that helps and I believe that works but sometimes it's the thing where it's it says I will remember you and you have to make a conscious effort to remember to do so because it's so easy to and I do this this is like my habit that I'm trying to work on and it's like it's that when I get stressed when I feel really down I try to you know go to my friends and try to distract myself from it or I really get really really busy so I don't have to worry about it or I just you know will come home and I'll just be laying around and being lethargic because I feel like I can't like function almost and I do all these things except for the one thing that's actually going to help me and that's going to God and so I feel like we have to make this conscious effort because the things of this world are tr going to try to distract us. It's not whether or not it, if it is going to happen, it's when it's going to happen. And we need to remember, and I need to remember, to go to God when during these situations. And Sorry, my phone got disconnected for a second. So um, what I was saying is that this one, well, there's more to this verse, but I'm just focusing in on the first part because I feel like that's the part that really like applied to me. And that um between my soul is downcast within me and therefore I will remember you there's a semicolon and the word that kind of like the conjunction between the two is therefore and 
that makes me even realize even more that it's not like, oh, like I'm feeling down, I'm feeling stressed, I will, you know, I guess it's good for me to do so. It's therefore, meaning you should be doing this. This is what like a cause and effect kind of sort of thing. So if you're stressed, you should, you need to remember God and you need to remember, and it goes on to say, um, therefore I remember you from the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon from Mount Mazar. And this is just like, just remembering the good of God and remembering all the times that he's been there for you. Because I feel like for me, I get stressed out very easily. And when I'm in the moment, I feel really overwhelmed. And I start to kind of like just space on everything. Like there's been countless times, like I can talk about times when I've been so stressed and God has pulled through each and every time. And even still, you know, something will come up and I will all of a sudden start feeling overwhelmed and I start feeling stressed and I start questioning like, will God really, you know, help me? Like this seems, you know, so big or whatever. And it's like, of course he's going to help. Has he ever left you in the past? And it's always, the answer is always no, but it's hard to remember this. And so I don't know. I just, you know, this verse came to me and I thought that it would, might be a good reminder to everybody else. And it's, it can be hard having your, you know, thoughts of yourself and everything dictate your life. And it doesn't have to be that way, which is what I'm realizing. And <clears throat> just remembering God, remembering his promises, remembering that whatever you're going through, you don't have to go through alone, that God is there already waiting for you. You just need to take his hand and that his um, love and his um care and everything will be there for you to guide you through whatever you're going through and just knowing that gives you a sense of peace that you can't find in this world it's only given to you by through god and so i just thought that you know i, I already said this like three times probably i just thought that this would be like um a good thing to share and um just talk about how it's affected me so um I don't know what my mom said at the end of her videos. I feel like a fake fan. Um, so <laughs> have a great day and I hope you have a blessed week and that um, God just continues to, or I know God will continue to be at your side and that you'll just take his hand and um, trust him to take hold of your life. Okay, bye guys.